because it was so silly looking back now like if I did it now no one would think twice because the internet we all the internet just makes fun of people now and it's just accepted <laughs> oh, whoa, tell me oh, whoa, tell, tell me wait up oh, whoa, tell me it's me Billy tell me hold on can I please have your signature please I ran from over there so far Shoo shoo. My knees, they sting. Go it. Go on, read some books. Oh, won't give me his signature. Oh, what do I do now? Why? No. Uh, I hate him. I hate you, Jeremy. I hate you. Ah, uh, uh, dang it. Rash, rash, you know. How are you doing? The internet was so new and surfing was so like core still, like pro surf coreness. So when I did that, it was like, ooh, you know, ouch, Sterling's throwing blows at people. And I'm still on the QS. Right. <laughs> so guys are thinking I'm just like this, I'm like cheap shotting them. You know, so it create it created like it created such buzz and such drama. Like every contest I would go to, I'm like, oh my gosh, like who's gonna try to fight me? <laughs> was um were you surprised that Jeremy was so upset? Um, I was completely surprised because I didn't understand the power of the internet yet either. But I worked with David Malcolm. But he, he like it was just random he's like dude you should voice over this i was like all right let's do it and did it first try and like posted it and fell asleep like high five and fell asleep and like woke up to his feet and he's like gets on the computer he's like sterling the video has sixty thousand views and i'm like what <laughs> and i go look at my facebook and jeremy flores is the first message Oh my gosh. And and he's just like livid. Just like pissed off. And that's when we were just like, what is this world? <laughs> what is the internet? You know, like we just reached 60,000 humans overnight. Like that was just like hard to comprehend. Like we didn't have, I didn't have a cell phone then. Like <laughs> it was just wow. like, um, I thought he was overreacting for sure. Yeah. Um, which fueled me being more cheeky, you Good. know, my, <laughs> you know, my ego is like, you know, like, come on, dude. <laughs> Good. Like, I'm, I, I just, I just saw you in France, you know, like, um, but yeah, but I, looking back, I realized no one understood it. See, I disagree. You said that earlier that, when you're uh, when you were talking about your father, he didn't understand it. You felt like nobody understood it, except sixty thousand people understood it. You know, like all of <laughs> us watching on the internet completely got it. I never once thought that Jeremy hated children. Right. I never <laughs> thought that that was Jeremy's voice. I just I thought it was hilarious, and there was a, it was like a victimless crime. It was kind of the ultimate comedy because. <laughs> it's it's satire that is poking fun at how serious we all take surfing. There's no victim here. It was shocking to me that Jeremy can't laugh at it. And it actually made me dislike Jeremy. I had no reason. I was indifferent to Jeremy before. Maybe I admired his surfing at certain times. But as soon as he overreacted to that, I was like, God, that guy is such a wuss. Like what? He can't take a joke? So I, I want you to know everybody got it. You know, we were there rooting for you going, dude, go on, keep going. <laughs> well, it's a little different in my shoes because uh, I'm, I'm like around these people. <laughs> and like, you know, Hawaii was still the wild, wild west. So Jeremy's tight with all the Hawaiians and so was I, but not like Jeremy, you know, like Jeremy was a pipe master. And so, uh, 
it just yeah it's hilarious dude it became this just crazy drama like i guarantee you more people watched your video about on jeremy flores than have ever watched any one of his heats <laughs> i felt like it made jeremy flores like a famous pro surfer after that like that 100 percent, it did like yeah i agree with you like but me and Jeremy, we did get to a good place eventually. But well, tell me before that good place, tell me how the confrontation went down when he ultimately <laughs> connected with you. Well, um, for two years, it was Jeremy's looking for you. Jeremy's looking for you. <laughs> Everywhere I go, Jeremy's looking for you. And we were in New York and I like, I, my hair grew out, started wearing glasses. So he like didn't recognize me. And we were like standing in line together. And I was like, oh. <laughs> he had no idea of me. That, and uh, that was the New York, the contest, the CT they had in New York. And he caught wind, he was around me. And it was just like, that's when I realized, oh, this is real. He really is looking for me. And he's like a jujitsu master and he's looking to practice. <laughs> yeah. And then that later in Hawaii. So like I was coming out with my movie Surf Madness and um, and it was, it had a lot of hype because I had Verizon behind it and they were just like pumping it on every webcast like Sterling's new movie's coming like so I had a bunch of hype and um, and a lot of the commercials was Jeremy Flores video teasers, Jeremy Flores, and then like Adriano, like making fun of pro surfers, you know? So it was just like, everyone was just like waiting to see this movie, like, oh my gosh, like what is gonna happen? So I feel like that built up in Jeremy and he was like expecting like, you know, Sterling is going to make fun of me again. So I just got to Hawaii. I just flew in and uh, it was the night of the surfer pole awards. And uh, I, I get to the surfer pole awards. I'm like drinking a drink. I'm like in Hawaii. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden I feel this like arm come around my neck. And then all of a sudden I wake up and I'm just like dangling and Jeremy is holding me and there's like 50 people cir circled around us. And Jeremy's making, Jeremy's like talking to the crowd. He's like, Sterling and I are best friends. Look, and he kisses me on my mouth. <laughs> and he's like, look, and he like kisses me. And I'm like, I'm seeing stars. I'm like, where am I? <laughs> and uh, everyone's like, and then like he chokes me again. And everyone like, like sits up and then he like lets it go. And he's like, I'm just kidding. And he just got in big trouble with Sonny Garcia for fighting right. that kid. And so I feel like it clicked in his head. Like, oh no, like I can't kill Star here. <laughs> Cause I'm like this silly human. He like finally saw me and he's like, this is Sterling. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like in an aloha shirt, just like, I just cut myself bangs. I've got super long curly hair. Like I just look like an idiot, you know? And he's like, so then he like whispers, I like lay on the ground. He like whispers in my ear. He's like, tomorrow night at your premiere will be, this, it, this will be, you will learn the ultimate. <laughs> 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 and so all night I can't sleep. I'm like, and uh, all the Hawaiians are just kind of giving me this look like, like, can't wait to give you lickings. <laughs> I'm just like, oh no. So like Bill Wong has this big party at the house with like Taj and, and everything. And, and I'm just like scared. I'm like, what's gonna happen? <laughs> so we like all drive to Turtle Bay Resort and like we start the movie and like I look in the back 
and Jeremy and like all these Hawaiians are at every door, like lined up. And I'm like, I look at Dave, I'm like, it was nice knowing you, man. <laughs> <laughs> and in the movie, Jeremy wasn't in the movie. In the movie, um, I feel like they enjoyed it. <laughs> okay. And they were expecting like this, you know, bashing of pro surfers or whatever. And they realized it was just fun. <laughs> so when the like lights went off, they are just like, eh, he's okay. <laughs> maybe they and finally like, got the sense of humor. Yeah, maybe because they sat down and watched it. Yeah. <laughs> and Jeremy like bought me and and we just like talked it all out that night. Um wow. He's just like like that you know that video gave me so much shit and in France and it hurt my profile and yada yada yada. And I was like, well I was definitely not trying to do that. You know, like <laughs> it was really just by accident. And I feel like Stab magazine just fueled the fire and it was just like and so we just talked it out and uh i remember like uh this guy flinto who used to run billbong australia he like sat jeremy down and was like look <laughs> everyone loves you it's not a big deal like <laughs> and i remember it was just like over after that like good he bought me like a drink and i never dealt with that again <laughs> i guess i'm just shocked again at his lack of self-awareness that any hurting of his profile had to do with him choking people out. It had right. nothing to do with you, you know, like it's, right. and you're like, we already discussed what you did only elevated people's awareness of Jeremy. Right. And then if he chokes people out with all that awareness, that's on him, you know? <laughs> um, well, I'm sure he was in a, learning stage too you know like totally we both and it, we were like the yin and yang of the industry and it was just happening we were just like fighting 